Uh, we're excited to tell our story about um, data analytics at Concordia International School, Shanghai. We are all in education, and the purpose of being in education is to prepare our students for the job market. And as you know right now, big data analytics is huge out there. At the graduate level and undergraduate level, universities have been offering big data analytics at that level. But what about at the high school level, at the K-12? That's where the building block is. We need to train these students from here to there. And the topic of my research uh, is the utilization of climate data and how that can act as a predictor for asthma rates in the future. And I specifically focused on the chronological um, and geographical aspects of this. I wanted to use big data to achieve more specificity and then um, more reliable and accurate predictors for future asthma rates. I visually determined about which dozen were possibly correlated to asthma rates in the US. Um, and then from there, I did more quantitative uh, statistic analysis. So these were the seven that ended up having um, a p-value of below 5% using um, a standard Pearson test. What is fake news? Why has it become so important? And what do people think about it? These are all questions I sought to explore throughout my research project. And to analyze fake news, I focus on, an, on a process called sentiment analysis, which determines opinion regarding a particular topic. Um, and it can also be used in other uh, fields other than fake news. So this shows that trust in the mass media has generally gone down. And here is that same information, but also a focus on the age difference. So the darker green line here is from 18 to 49 years old, and the light green line is for 50 and older. And once again, I found that the younger group, although it's bigger, has also uh, less trust in the mass media, which is due to their more information exposure. How maintaining uh, good air quality within workspaces and schools can improve learning environments and efficiency, work efficiency for faculty and students alike. We, after we found this, this uh, insight, we decided to create our new AQI and CO2 sensors in order to provide better data to, provide, to perform better analysis with. It uploads every five minutes to a server where we were able to conduct our analysis on. So first, this is what we're going to talk about is that we use the sensors we put into eight different locations throughout the high school and we were looking at the trends of PM 2.5 CO2, humidity and temperature throughout the school. And right here, what we're going to do now is visualize the, uh, the permeability ratio as we discussed before. The permeability ratio, to restate it, is the inside versus outside, inside divided by outside, to get how much, how much the inside is susceptible to outside air when the outside air changes. So, let the data speak. <laughs>